Hey guys, um, this is going to be a really short video. I'm, uh, I'm having a hard time writing lately because there are a lot of, there are a lot of things that have been uh, going on. So I have like new clients to work on. I have some uh, writing jobs that I've been taking care of. I've also been uh, doing a lot of CrossFit this past few days. So I haven't been uh, able to uh, post regularly on the blog. Uh, I've been trying to post every day on the website. I mean on the Facebook page, but that hasn't been happening consistently. So I figure that I need to well, like make it up uh, to you by uh, doing this live video. Usually, um, I've been in the past few months I've been trying to make some videos I have it on my computer I haven't uploaded it yet because the upload times like extremely slow like when you make a video using a smartphone now a uh, short video is usually around half a day to upload because it's like two gig like 10 minutes is like two gig so um, so um, instead, I'm going to try doing a Facebook Live, so no editing, no, um, no, uh, well, yeah, so like if I make a mistake, I, uh, you see it, it's live, it's recorded. Well, anyway, um, so I've been thinking about a topic that you'll find useful. Uh, one, of the, one of the more common things that people ask me is like, uh, hi Kevin, I want to work in the call center, but I'm afraid of failing. So can you give me some tips? Or um, hi Kevin, I'm I'd like to work in the call center, but I I'm afraid that if I fail, I'm just wasting my time. But uh, here's the thing: a lot of a lot of times people are afraid of failing, and because they're afraid of failing, they're not gonna do anything about it. So like, if you're afraid to fail, you're not gonna try it out, and because you don't try it out. Like, you avoid failure, but the thing is, you're not moving forward, and not moving forward is an even bigger failure than actually failing. So, um, so here's the thing. Whenever you try to become more successful, you're always going to run into challenges that are more than what you can take care of. And that is perfectly fine. So all you need to do is to just try it out. If you fail, failing lets you know exactly what you need to do right the next time. It also teaches you exactly what you need to learn in order for you to succeed. So let's say you're trying to get hired in a call center. Like I remember my first failure in a call center is that... I went to this company, a small company, you might have heard of it, it's called Convergies. And I went there and so I brought a couple of friends, uh, new friends, and we got there and out of like 20 people, only 8 of us made it to the next room. And one of my friends got eliminated. So there's just 8. And then after the eight, uh, the eight of us, they interviewed us again. And then there's like only three of us left. And then out of the three, the other two got eliminated. So it's just me in the final interview. And then after the final interview, the interviewer asked me about job offers. And I said like, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. And then the interviewer uh, already scheduled me for a job offer. She wanted me to work in, um, she wanted me to show up uh, like a, a, a week from that day. And then she asked me, oh, by the way, uh, I, I just realized you haven't finished college yet. Do you plan to work while studying? Or do you plan to save up and then study if your schedule permits, per, permits it to? And then I said, like, well, um, as much as possible, I'd like to work while studying. And, and then she started 
giving me this worried look and she asked me uh, what's so what's the what are your um, what if your school schedule be- begins to conflict with your work schedule how are you gonna cope up and it's my first time being asked that question so I didn't really know what to say so I tried my best to answer it but I, I don't know, I gave some bad answer and maybe said like, well, I'll, I'll do my best to make it, uh, make it, um, make it work. Like, I've uh, even trained to be a martial artist and a gym guy while studying. And I'm sure, and I, I spend like eight hours in the gym, so I'm pretty sure that I can spend like eight hours working and then a few hours in school maybe I'll cut my subjects down in half or something like that just so I could make it work I really wanted to finish school and uh, I really wanted this job so but with the way I said it I, I wasn't able to convey that I really wanted a job so even after she said that she was going to enter to endorse me for a job offer and like show up the next week she just withdrew it and she said that they were going to call me and that is one of my first failures uh, my second failure was with this company back then uh, they were called ICT I am not sure if they've changed their names I haven't been paying attention to the change in the call center companies these days so I was there in ICT and I passed I passed the exam I passed the essay I passed the initial interview uh, my English was good. I'm sorry, it, it's not ICT. It's another company. It's called KGB. I think it was previously called Info NXX. And then I went there. And then there's this um, me and this girl. Uh, her name's Jean. She helped me build my website. And then there's this other girl uh, with an accent. Her accent's really bad. Well, not really bad, but you kind of know that she's from the province. Like, uh, she she has this heavy uh, Visayan accent, but uh, she she can say it, but she sounds like she's Filipino. She doesn't sound like an American. And then, um, the problem with me back then is that I had really good English, but I also couldn't, uh, I couldn't express myself well. Um... I can answer, I can understand anything that they ask me. I can answer yes or no questions. I can, um, what can I do? I can explain some things clearly. But the problem is, my answers were limited to just one or two sentences at the most. And in a lot of cases, I answer with yes or no, or just uh, a few words. And I thought that was good, and it turns out that that was bad. And uh, so there were three of us, and then only one person got the offer. And the, that other person was this girl with the heavy accent, which I thought, she's, uh, she's going to fail. Her English sucks. But she passed. And the reason why she passed is because when we were listening to her interview, they were like just talking and having fun. And uh, the interviewer is asking her questions, and she gives the answer, and then... The interviewers like laughing and they're making uh it's it's like a casual conversation like in tagalog nagkikwentuhan lang sila and that's what's been happening and nagkikwentuhan nagtatawanan and, and it it's um it's embarrassing like i have better english but i failed so um so yeah, I, I just kept that in mind. So note to self, become a people person. And then the th- third failure was the first time that I applied at West Contact Services. So we went there, um, me and my friend. So um, we went there. The, the, we passed the interview, we passed the exam. And then uh, the recruiter told us, come back on Wednesday. And then, um, yeah, okay, we passed, we celebrated, we went home. And then uh, that, that girl became my friend. So 
I, I called her the next day and we were like talking about like I hope he pass and uh like just just stuff and, and then later on I realized like hey our interviews on Wednesday please don't forget and I as I was uh, as we were chatting I just stopped and then I looked into the calendar and then after I looked into the calendar I was like, ah, shit. Uh, my our interview is three p.m. on Wednesday, and it's already two thirty. And I just realized that today is Wednesday, and like, fuck, they were waiting for us. We didn't show up. They might think bad things, and it, it's really bad. Like we totally forgot, and we were so embarrassed. So the mistake is we didn't go there on a Wednesday. The second mistake is we didn't call them or we didn't tell them like, hey, we weren't able to go. I'm sorry. Can we reschedule? We didn't say that. So, and then we, we just, I don't know. We just like, I, I failed and she failed. And, uh, it, it's really embarrassing. And uh, at some point, you, you're, you're, you're going to start to... Um, Look at your failures and like, like really look at it. Like what happened? In a lot of cases, um, especially with uh, personal situations, whenever I fail before, like when I was a lot younger, I usually try to forget about it. And that's the thing with me. I try to forget my failures and then I try again. But as I got older, I it made me realize that when you just stop and think about like why did you fail uh what happened like is there anything that you can do to improve it like will you get another chance when you get another chance what are you gonna do differently and then things are going to improve and when 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 you improve even just a little you'll have a higher chance and uh, if you were applying for a call center job, in a lot of situations, the process for getting hired, the initial interview questions like, uh, tell me about yourself, tell me about your strengths and weaknesses, why should we hire you, why shouldn't we hire you, um, what are the other questions like... Um, I don't know. There's there's a lot. So, but usually it's like, tell me about yourself. What are your strengths and weaknesses, and uh, why should we hire you? And why do you want to work in a call center? So it's it's just those same questions. If you end up going to a call center that has a written exam, the questions are usually the same. It's like high school math, and it's just like basic English. You look, you have to read something, find the wrong word, or you have to like which sentence is wrong or something like that so it's usually just the same and um oh man i forgot what i was trying to say well hold on for a moment let me just think about it um so yeah so when you fail just sit down and instead of staying away from your failure just stay with your failure and think about it because if you think about your failure it's going to it's going to make your brain think of solutions and that's the thing in in life all of our success is a result of the solutions that we apply to our difficult situations and uh, especially if you want to work in a call center uh, if you are, if you'd like to work in a call center, uh, you're in customer service, you're in sales, you are in technical support, people are going to ask you for solutions. And solutions are, uh, solutions are why people pay you. So, like, uh, for example, in a, in a customer service situation, you're going to go to a, uh, they're, they're going to ask you to do an interview. And 
they're going to ask you, they're going to put you in a situation like uh, the customer, uh, the customer is calling because there's a problem with his bill. How will you deal with it? So we, you, you have these situations or if you're in tech support, like customer is calling because their product is broken, how will you fix it? And then if you're in sales, so maybe you call the customer and the customer tells you, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. What are you going to do with that? And all these solutions are things that you're going to learn later on. But usually, the first time that you encounter these problems, you're not going to, uh, you're not going to know what's wrong until you just pay attention. Like, what's the problem? What's the solution to the problem? What can I do? Who can I ask for solutions? Um, what's what's the question that I should be asking so I can solve this problem? So yeah, um, always ask yourself why you failed. Always ask yourself what questions you should be asking yourself to uh, get a solution to your problem. You should always ask yourself what, um, like, who who can I ask for help? Um, oh, what books can I read? What uh, courses can I take to get better? Uh, how can I use my money so I can become a better person instead of like uh, like by default people just use money on things and one of the things that are different with me is I at an early age because I, uh, I, I was working since I was 17 I learned how to use money to improve myself I had no idea that uh, like reading books uh, will teach me things and uh, and that's the thing like if uh, if I hadn't paid attention to my failure I would have just stopped there uh, a lot of a lot of people they didn't finish college they didn't finish I don't know their school they they did take college or they took a different course and would like to work in a different job and then they just stop they give up and I don't want you to do that. If you, if you fail, if you keep failing, you know, some people, they finish college and they couldn't even do things. It, it's embarrassing. And uh, what I want to share with you is that you can change your life. All you need to do is to just study because we become what we study. So I had no idea um, about, like I've been a failure most of my life like you look at me right now and you might think that hey Kevin you're really successful you, you can like pay for CrossFit you work from anywhere you do all these amazing things you have a blog you have people following you but everything started out for me as a failure I was 17 years old my dad kicked me out of the house he said he's not gonna send me to college because I said something wrong in an argument we got into a fight long story short he stopped sending us allowance and all these things and then I had to look for work and I tried looking for work and uh, all these failures and then I tried taking a low low paying job and then it's a sales job so I kept failing and then eventually I learned something useful and then I became successful my boss told me that I should read books like, if I didn't finish college, I should read books that teach me skills because employers are looking for people with skills. And skills are what gets you the job. So if you know how to sell, if you know how to explain things well, if you can speak in English well, all of these things will accumulate and add to your income and improve your life. So before... I couldn't even dream of buying my own cell phone. I was like uh, begging uh, for my parents for a little extra money so I could buy that, uh, I don't know, 3310 or something, like a really old phone. And then I was like settling for hand-me-downs. And then I learned how to sell and then my English got better. And then I learned about all these different jobs and my my skill level improved and 
that's the thing. All of these are failures, and because I chose to pay attention to the failures, I was able to figure out that I need to teach myself the skills. And you teach yourself skills by reading books, attending courses. I use my money. I buy books. I buy uh, business books. I buy sales books. I buy um, customer service books. I buy things. And then I seek out smart people who can teach me. And... uh, Fortunately for me, I was able to find smart people who were willing to teach me. And then I do my best to like give the favor back. I just uh, the guy who taught me about computers. I spent like all my allowance just buying him beer and cigarettes. And that's that's just just it. That's how I got started. Like every top seller at the company that I work for, I made sure that I buy them lunch every every payday. So they will teach me their secrets, and uh, all the all these things are, all, all these things are going to improve your life, and just 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 keep going, just keep learning. So, like I said, so stay in your failure, pay attention, and ask yourself questions like, why did you fail? What can you do to improve your uh, situation? And there's a lot. A uh, lot of things that you need to improve. That's the reason why you fail. Like failure is life's way of telling you that you need to make some improvements, make some adjustments, and from there, you will be able to get to where you want to go. So I'm, uh, I'm like uh, 30, 31 right now. And people are telling me that, like James, you're so you're you're so successful, you're so good. Can I, how to be you, po? And what they don't realize is, like, for the first maybe five or maybe ten years, I've failed in a lot of things, and that's how I got to where I am today. I just kept going. I just kept learning. I I I keep investing. Like I buy books. I buy courses. I. Uh, I try things out. I do my own experiments. So, like, I read something about finding finding work. I'm going to spend money to find work. I'm going to make a resume, make a better resume, make a, like, try to apply. Just go to a company. Even if I'm not interested in getting hired there, I'm going to use that for practice. Like, I don't care if they, uh, they get me hired or they don't. Uh, I don't get hired. I just go there so I can use their interviewer So the interviewer can teach me how to speak in English better, how to answer the interviewer better. There's this answer to the interview, like how I introduce myself. And like, that's a little crazy. I'm going to try it out with this company. And like, if they put me to the next stage, oh, this this answer works. And uh, and that's that. Um, One fight, I'm about to end because uh, I originally planned this live session for just five minutes, but... I, I stayed on uh, longer than I should, and I only have like this for my notes. So I'm, I'm just going to end with a final part, There's some tips that you can use. So the first tip is use paper. Now, I recommend, I highly recommend that you use paper. The paper is a good technology. It allows you to think about your thoughts better. So like if you have a question, write it down. And then if you have an answer, write it down too. If you write things down, you are going to be able to see your thoughts. And when you see your thoughts, you can say like, ah, this answer is bad. Maybe this answer is better. So like if your answer one doesn't work, maybe like write version two. If version two is not good, maybe write version three. And then maybe if you have like two ideas, like version three and four, and which is better. And you just keep writing down questions. You just keep writing down answers. And then always ask yourself, what can I improve about this? And that's basically what I wanted to teach you. Look at failure. Ask yourself what you can improve. And it's, it's an endless cycle. Like look for things that you are going to fail and just, just be comfortable with failing 
and when you when you're comfortable with failing you can just um you can just you know you can just keep failing and get get better and then ask yourself how how you can get better and you can you can improve like my english like if if you were to grade my english skills it might suck for some of you like some of you might think that i'm like really good or really bad but over time my english is going to get better and so will yours if you do the same thing that i recommend that you do like if you have some uh by the way thanks thanks for uh tuning in if you have some questions feel free to ask me in the comments below uh i'll see if um i'll do my best to answer them when i log back in and if you did enjoy this video or you enjoyed some of the articles and blog posts that i have posted please support the site by hitting like uh sh sharing this blog and uh this facebook page to your friends and to people who need it and also consider buying my book uh my book's only like uh, it's less than 200 bucks and it'll help you get hired in a call center i'm also working for working on another book that will improve your english with uh, less time and i'm still working on it uh, hopefully i get to finish by uh march or april so i'm i'm working hard to finish that book and anyway um thank you so much for watching and um have a good evening Bye-bye.